So we got you. Uh, yep, you're right. They are unpredictable. Um, and uh, what's that one up at the top? Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Um, okay, from Carmen Cheetah, Graham and Emily. Hi, this was mind blowing. Don't you think it's quite dangerous? I always thought during walks there should be no talking. This is really this is really risky seeing that Peter has to talk to us. Maybe in dangerous situations, Peter should just be quiet. It wouldn't bother me not hearing what he says. Um, I don't. You, is it dangerous? Um, I, I, th I think that there's no question that being off of the game drive vehicle has a higher level of, 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 of danger to it than being on the vehicle. There, there's no doubt about it. Um, however, you must also remember that these animals see people off vehicles all the time. So within the lodges and uh, with, with, on the roads, and you know, there are there are people walking around all the time. I think that the, the, whether or not he speaks is 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 not that critical because we're not trying to hide from the animals so the, the the it's actually in a way it's better that he talks to make sure that the animal isn't surprised by by people on foot so one of the first things is that it, it's critical that 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 the animal knows that we're there um, obviously shouting and screaming isn't a good idea because that will disturb the animals um, in that situation I'm not an expert on this and I'll wait for Peter to explain better what, what was going on but um, but there is no doubt there is uh, there is risk and, and danger potential, and w we should be very careful. I I, I really it, it's not normal that 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 would happen, uh, and it's and it's uh, it's bad luck that that should occur on our first on our first walk. Um, uh, we'll work very hard to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Uh, I can assure you of that. Uh, here's Em. Um. You mentioned, Carmen, about well, Peter speaking to the audience. I think um, Peter knows that the safety of himself and, all, and, and, and the crew and also the, 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 the happiness of the elephant is the most important thing. Um, so I think, yes, if he really thought he was in danger as a situation where he needed to sort it out, he wouldn't carry on talking to the audience. He'd understand that you would understand that, you know, unfortunately he had to kind of, you know, take care of the crew. Um, I, you probably noticed in that situation when the elephant did start running uh, doing its mock charge, Peter made a lot of noise. Um, the reason he did that is because um, with an elephant, well with any wild animal, you have to show that you're strong and you're big and you know that you, you've got presence. You have to make a lot of noise, you have to stand your ground uh, and then the elephant will make a lot of noise back. Both of you will be saying to each other, you know, move move back. Tex and I was just talking to about this before the chat and he said both Peter was saying to the elephant we're not harming you, move back. An elephant was making noise and saying you move back and, and it was just a respectful thing. If Peter had turned around and run away that elephant would have chased him down and it's the worst thing you can ever do with a wild animal. You must never run away. Um, you know in an elephant's case it would see you that obviously you were you were playing games with it and you were weak but in something like a lion situation it might think you're prey and uh, you're covering my face in front of the camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, so no, I think Peter handled it really well. I think uh, he wanted to continue telling you the audience because he knew that you guys would be very nervous of the situation. He wanted to make you feel as comfortable as possible. He was obviously feeling comfortable and therefore just wanted to 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 say that to you and, and make you guys feel feel better. But I'm sure he'll talk more about it when he comes in. What else have we got on here? Rose mentioned how important it was to hear Peter's voice once, uh, once, once it had calmed down. Yeah, I agree, Rose. I think it was important. I think Peter was in the situation. No one really knew what was going on. One, because we weren't there, but two, because the, the, the signal wasn't great and there was static noise. And I mean, I know I just heard a lot of noise and I didn't know whether it was Peter making the noise or the elephant making the noise or, or what. So it was very good to have Peter come on afterwards. Once he'd obviously got the situation under control, he came on to tell us that it was all okay, which I agree was nice. Okay, well, uh, notwithstanding all the excitement that we had with the, with the walk this morning, um, one thing I don't know if, if Em mentioned is that, uh, we, we, well, obviously you've noticed that we had an awful lot of static, both in, in the picture and in the, um, and in the, in the audio. Uh, that's because of the, oh, look, there's some zebra. Well spotted. Uh, and that's because uh, that's because the, we're using an analog microwave system. It's a it's a very um, old uh, analog microwave system. 
Uh, some of you actually will have probably seen video come through that uh, over over the last 10 years. It's uh, th that particular piece of equipment has been around for a long, long time. Um, the the in time when when we upgrade everything, we'll we'll go to a digital walking system uh, in in full high definition. But it's very expensive, so it's not something we can afford to do right now. And uh, and we're just experimenting really. Oh, okay, we can't move it any higher than that. But anyway, they're, they're, they're the zebras. Maybe they'll be coming down shortly. Um, we can point. See that? That's <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, so it is a little bit stressful to see all that static video and audio static in the picture. But, um, but for right now, that's the best that we can do. Uh, we, we, we'll... We, we, we think it's still worth it that um, to put up with all of that uh, and and to have uh, and to and to be able to go on the walk um, and 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 I, I guess we'll learn over the next couple of weeks we'll get better and better at it and and I guess you'll get more and more used to it uh, and then eventually we'll be able to make it uh, a digital system. Is there what about from the other camera? Can you can you zoom and try it, try it from that camera, the other way to the right? I think it is. So let's. Okay, we're going to have to take the picture and picture away, and then go to there. There we go. You can tell that M and I, you know, we're not used to actually controlling everything over here. Even though we set it up and we still train everyone, we. Uh, we don't get the practice. We don't get the practice like everyone else does. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now. That's obviously where the old Gary waterhole used to be, all those many months ago. Um, zebra standing there in the dry, the dry dam bed. But it's nice to see zebra. We don't often see them around here. Uh, usually it's impala, waterbuck, nyala, giraffe even. But zebras, zebras less common, so it's nice. Do you think this is a little family, Graham? Yes, I would imagine that's a little herd. Uh, ooh, what's that all about? Looks like could be um, could be the stallion over there that just walked off to the left. Um, I think it might be difficult to tell at this distance, but there'll be a stallion and there'll be some mares um, and, uh, and 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 a couple of almost adult foals. In fact, I see that one on the right now. I think is uh, is definitely a, a youngster. I wouldn't call it a foal, but uh, but it's a it is, is a sort of a teenager, I would say, and uh, I think we've seen this herd a few times in the last few days, lurking around Western Gari, um, and uh, although that uh, this today is the the first day that we've uh, that we we, we did the we walk, which makes it the third show that we've launched this week. We had we learn, we chat, and uh, and now we walk. Tomorrow is an interesting day because tomorrow we're going to have all three of the shows. We'll we'll have the morning drive, which will um, which which Texan will present, and then uh, after that, Peter will go out on another boring walk, <laughs> and then uh, and then there'll be uh, and then there'll be a Peter chat. Brat's going to do the, Peter Bright's going to do the chat tomorrow with hopefully Texan as well. So you'll have um, those two to chat to tomorrow, which will be nice. And um, and uh, we've almost finished the system that will provide a live GPS position from the game drive vehicle. So under the resources section of the um, website, under maps, that um, that live map, that live satellite map picture should be working in the next few days. Um, it's been a long, long, long time in the making, but uh, we're just about there with that, which is quite exciting. Some other changes that you may have noticed is that the um, the we have a pre-roll uh, logo sequence on the stream now. So for 10 to 15 seconds before the live video kicks off, uh, you've got the uh, the Wild Earth Eye and uh, and the heartbeat. And um, we're we're going to be doing some interesting things with heartbeats over the next while. We are going to slowly establish the heartbeat as the sound of Wild Earth. And I guess if you were watching the walk this morning, you will understand why. Uh, and uh, and in fact, uh, in time, not not.